all good morning from Nam De Moon Market. Today we have chosen to skip lunch and have lots of snacks at this market instead, so I'm pretty excited for that. Yeah, so Nam De Moon Sijung, Nam De Moon Market is the oldest market in Seoul and it's mm -hmm. also one of the best places to get Korean street food. So we're just gonna go on a rampage and eat as much <laughs> <laughs> Korean street food as we possibly can. A rampage? Can. You heard it here first. Let's go eat. So I got myself a potato corn dog. So this is a hot dog on a stick. It's been breaded, I guess. And then they've attached these french fries as well. So it's like really over the top. And I'm going to add some ketchup. Wow, look at that. And what else can put this me? Is, some spicy yeah, this, sauce. This is a very uniquely Korean hot dog. So All yeah, put, right. some, put some spicy sauce on that too. Come out, come out spice. Oh, Ooh, that's thick. Whoa. Whoa. Man, that looks good. All right. Look at all the French. You can see you can see the French fries so well on this there. This is my first time trying this, so we'll see. Oh, it's hot. Ooh. Super hot, huh? Mm. Very hot. Mm. Oh, wow. This is like fast food to the max. So what do you think? It's very good, actually. Is there a lot of batter on the outside or? Yeah, you can see it there. All right, time for Sam to share his thoughts. Yeah, so my turn to try as well. This is my first time to actually have this. Mm -hmm. I've had like a lot of Korean street food and I've like walked by this many times but I've never actually had it. Yeah. So exciting times here. I'm just gonna go in for a big bite. Big bite, he says. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you've got some stuff stuck to your lips. Oh my gosh, yeah. Like, that, you can really see the the hot dog in there. Yeah. So you do taste the hot dog, then you really taste the batter, but you also taste the the crispiness of the French fries too. Mm -hmm. So it's really tasty. I'm really enjoying it. It's delicious. Yeah, it's kind of like having your hot dog on a bun with a side of fries, except it's all been rolled into <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, it's all been put into one one thing right here. So what was the price for this one? So this one was three thousand won, Samchon won, so a little bit less than three US dollars. Uh, kind of okay. just say, yeah. so we're trying odeng, which is a Korean fish cake. Ah. This is one of the most common Korean street foods you can find like, yeah. everywhere. So often it's places where you get dog food. So yeah, and it's so cheap. This is usually so 50 cents. Yeah, this one was more expensive because it is in Namdimun. It's, yeah. it's 1,001, won, chon won. But yeah. let's try that. Put a little bit of soy sauce on it. Yeah. And at first glance, it looks a lot like a pancake that's been folded oh. and then put on a little stick. Nothing like a pancake. Oh, <laughs> a fishy more, pancake. Yeah. It tastes very fishy. It actually doesn't have that strong of a taste. Um, I would kind of describe it, it has like a bit of a spongy exterior. Mm -hmm. um, spongy texture. Yeah. So it's really good. Um, I'm enjoying it big time. After coming to this market so many times while I lived here, I just discovered something new. This market has two levels, so we're going into the basement area right now to see what we can find in terms of food. Okay, so we're here in the basement level of Nam De Moon Market. Found a little treasure of a, of a restaurant here, just a tiny little hole in the wall place. And yeah. We are having Miyak Gimbap. And if you've never had Gimbap before, these are basically your Korean rice rolls. It's kind yeah. of like your, a Korean form of like a maki or sushi. 
And what makes these different from the ones that you typically get at gimbap restaurants is these are actually baby gimbap. Yeah, they're rolls. miniature in size. Right, so a normal gimbap roll would be really thick and bigger and go longer, and then it would be sliced up like this. Yeah. But these miyak gimbaps have not been sliced, they've just been made into little rolls. And yeah. So Let's try it. Looks good. So it's a little seaweed roll. It has sesame seeds. And let's have a look at the filling. It looks oh, like it's radish. Delicious. Yeah, we've got radish. Radish and carrot. We've got radish and carrot. I think it's a pure Ooh. vegetarian one. Vegetarian friendly. And mm. they gave us a sauce. Right. Let's try that. Let's try the sauce. Oh, yeah. That's like a. Uh, it's almost like a wasabi sauce. Woo! Ooh, so it yeah. is spicy. I heard her say it's not spicy. Yeah. Man, <laughs> good thing you're trying it. And another cool thing, she gave us. Oh. Soup. Yep, this is a soup. Cups. This is a soup that you often get with the with the, when you get olding or other kind of fish cakes. So it's a it's a light soup. Yeah. So like soy base with chives. All right, Audrey, your turn. My turn. I'll take one of these. Maybe one from the top, actually. Uh, oh, I wouldn't mix it too much. No. <laughs> You're gonna be in for a surprise. Warm. The rice is still yeah. warm. It's been just just oh, been wow. freshly made. That's a lot of wasabi. Yeah. Wow. It's like a was it's like it's like a wasabi mustard. Ooh, you're 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 feeling it. <laughs> I knew you were gonna you were gonna be in pain after dunking it in that deep. That is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, have another bite without so much on it. So what do you think of the of the miyak gimbap? I like it. It's a perfect little snack. Ooh. I'll just spray some southern root foods there. It's a perfect little snack, you know. You can have it packaged and these little containers, take it to go, eat it at a park, take it home. And take it easy on the sauce guys. A l one one little one little dunk is enough. Don't uh don't go in too heavy like we did. <laughs> so we just found the jackpot here. Yeah, we found a place that sells all kinds of like Western and American products here. We've got peanut butter. We've got like the Swiss hot chocolate. Ooh, on top there. And Nutella. We've got Nutella. We've got special kinds of coffee. Oh, it's, I thought that was veggie, my friend. No, it's not. We've got the Quaker oats in the background. So. Are you coveting anything? <laughs> We, we're, le we're leaving here soon, so I don't think we can buy anything, but I would get the massive jar of peanut butter. That would be on my way. So we may have come to Namde Moon for the street food. However, this is also a great place if you're looking to get a bargain on basically anything. You can buy shoes here, clothes, winter jackets, toys for children, school supplies, basically anything you can imagine, you'll find it here, plus food. Hello, I say, uh, one, one jin bun, a hundred to say, uh, one jin bun, a hundred to say, uh, one jin bun, a hundred to say, uh, one jin bun, so somebody found another snack. What did you get? Yeah, we just found this place that specializes in mandu and different other kinds of steamed buns. And we're getting something called Wong Jin Bong. And Wong refers to the giant size of this. Like I don't look how big this is. I'm putting this in my hand. Yeah. It's piping hot, so I'm gonna put it back in the bag. <laughs> Try not to burn yourself. It's bigger than my hand, so that's why you get the name Wong. Jin Bong, I believe it's gonna have red bean paste inside, so let's take a bite. Oh yeah. Let's Look at all that. Oh man. Ooh. That's still good. It's been mashed up and it's very sweet, but you really taste the bean as well. Too. Yeah. So. And it kind of looks like it has a, a fluffy bread. Texture, yeah, it's no? very it's very fluffy bread. It's piping hot and you can see the probably see the steam coming off of it, so I don't know what I'm trying to bite. Mmm. That's so good. And this one was really reasonably priced. It was 1,501. So it's a big one. So a little bit less than 150 US dollars, so great value, man. I'm loving this. So something cool about Namde Moon Market here in Seoul is that you can go down these little side alleys and you have like these kind of tiny little hole-in-the-wall restaurants. So we're going to show you a bit of what that looks like. So 
so it looks like we stumbled upon some kind of musical slash cultural performance in the middle of the market, so we're gonna check it out before that ends. Let's go. What did you get? I got myself Kokuma, which is Korean sweet potato. Man, is it every it's been freshly steamed, like it was just steaming right in front of us, so you can tell that it's hot. So I'm gonna just go in for a bite. You can see, look at that. Peel back the skin a bit. You know what? You can actually eat the skin. I've seen. I. I. I've. When I lived here before, I did eat the skin. So I'm gonna try a little bit first without the skin. It almost looks like pumpkin in terms of color oh. and texture. Oh, it's very sweet, very rich, very tastes really, really, really good. Would you have this for dessert? This is like this is like a natural fruit dessert, basically. But I mean, it's not even really a fruit; it's a sweet potato. So <laughs> I'm gonna try a bit of the skin this time. Mm. My advice, honestly, is to eat the skin. It's really good. And how much was this? This was only ton one, one thousand one. So again, less than one U.S. dollar. Wow. Canada 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 So for our final snack of the day, we are having hotok. And I feel like we've shown this snack probably a million times on our channel, but we just like it. It is our favorite much. Korean street food though. Yeah, whenever we see it, we're like, oh, we gotta get hotel. And <laughs> it's the best way to end off a Korean street food yes. taste test because you're getting something really mm. sweet, really tasty. So. Yeah, so again, in case you, you haven't memorized this by now, hotok is like this fat, fluffy pancake, and inside it's filled with brown sugar, cinnamon, and pine nuts, and it's just amazing. It's amazing. It's it, amazing. It, it's, it's cooked and made hot, so while you're biting into it, you get like these gooey bites, mm. and it's usually not until you get to about the middle of it that, that you start really getting a lot of the sauce that's Kinda inside. see it there. It's oozing that sugar. Look at that. It's so hot, so warm. And it was only 1,000 won. Less oh, wow. Than a dollar. Wow, that's a great so. price, especially for Namdimun. Uh. Like, it's typically it's 1,000 won elsewhere, but uh -huh. Namdimun can be more expensive for sure. So hot. Uh. Piping hot, huh? So, what's the verdict? Good quality Namdimun. one? It's always great. Mm. Time for me to try mine. You're right. There's no such thing as a bad whole talk. Yeah. This is like my favorite thing we've eaten at the market today. It always is. Always does. Always win. Number one. For the win right at the end. Leaving satisfied. Leaving very satisfied. That was, I mean, actually, I knew I was going to eat a lot, but I actually ended up eating a whole lot more than I originally planned. Like. That was a pig out for the ages, but in a good way. So if you're coming to Namdunun Market, I think something that you should understand is it is a little bit more touristy than some of the other Korean, more local Korean markets, and you can expect to pay a little bit more for some of the Korean street food. Uh, a prime example of that is when we had Odeng. Uh, normally, I, I picked that up uh, elsewhere for maybe 500 won, Obek won, whereas here I paid a thousand, so I paid double. But there were some some treats that I had that were exactly the same price, including the Hotok, which was a thousand here, also a thousand in most other places. So pretty good so anyways i hope you enjoyed this korean street food video and be sure to stay tuned on our channel every monday we have new videos coming out from south korea and if you're new to our channel check out our 50 things to do in seoul guide so we'll see you soon with new korean content